Hello, world. It's John Pinto, your roving realtor, Bon Vivant video blogger, podcaster. And I am here with Eric Seren, all things roof, termite, home, and pool inspection. Happy holidays, Eric. Happy holidays, John. Happy to be here. And Rafael Batanzas, all things ordering roof, termite, home, pool inspections. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, everyone. Thank you, John, once again for having us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Il piacere è mio. The pleasure is mine in Italian. Is that is that like Spanish? Il piacere è mio. Pretty pretty similar. I actually I actually learn English by using context clues. So so every time, uh, you know, somebody says something in another language, I use it. So it's in Spanish is el placer es mío. It even sounds super similar. So when you said that, I first thought you were speaking Spanish, and then I realized you were uh, saying Italian. Italian. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I learned I learned Spanish by listening to my Puerto Rican friends curse at each other on the handball court. Yeah, that, <laughs> that worked help. good. It, yeah, it was Spanish. it was a little bit of a limited <laughs> vocabulary, but you know I did learn. Uh, <laughs> so uh, today uh, in <clears throat> our uh, fifth series of uh, our videos on the dreaded further inspection items on inspection reports, it's going to be. Uh, uh, cracked concrete roof tiles mm -hmm. on roofs from manufacturers that have gone out of business and discontinued their operations. Yeah. Okay. That's always fun. Uh, so let me give you some context, uh, Eric, and you can feel my pain. So, yeah. you know, you're walking up to a house, you go, Oh boy, concrete tiles, concrete mm -hmm. tiles. Concrete tiles last forever. You know, I think yeah. the Romans use concrete tiles and some of them are still intact after 2,400 years. Right. Uh, and then uh, you have the roof inspected and one way or the other, you find out that that is a specialty kind of a roof. It's a specialty concrete tile. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the vendor has gone out of business and the manufacturer has gone out of business. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I know enough about this subject to be dangerous uh, because upon first glance, you figure a concrete roof is solid. You're, you're, you're golden for an extended period of time. On the other hand, if they've gone out of business because of some design or manufacturing flaw and or you can't get those tiles anymore, now you have a real problem on your hands. So can you fill in the blanks for me on, on that kind of a scenario and what your best options are? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and great subject. Um, concrete tile roofs, uh, we manufacture and give them about a 50 year warranty. So that, that's pretty darn good. Um, and, and it is, as the name implies, they're, they're made out of concrete. Uh, which isn't light uh, and can last a very long time, but they, they can crack. Uh, people are walking around up there and they don't know what they're doing. They can crack a tile or they do crack on their own uh, from different uh, te temperature differentials. Uh, some of those older roofs that are no longer manufactured, most of the sizes are fairly conventional. So one solution is if you have damaged tiles on the front of the house, you take some tile from the back of the house and you put those on the front and then the tiles that are close to matching, you put that on the back. So basically you're not looking at that tile every time you walk up to the front door and you see that that thing's been changed out. Um, another solution would be, uh, you know, our contractors that we use for roof repairs actually know of the roof tile graveyards, we'll call them. Um, there are large uh, yards filled with some of these older tiles. Uh, so when sometimes when houses are demolished, uh, there's a fire, people go out and they actually salvage these roof tiles. So some of the more savvy roofers will know where to obtain uh, those exact roof tiles for those roofs that are no longer manufactured. You, you are a damn genius. I love that. <laughs> I love that. You know, you're the best thing to since Les Schwab. Uh, you know, I I, 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 you know, I like Les Schwab. You yeah. know, I used to go to Tire Works all the time. There's a Les Schwab uh, around the corner from me, 
and uh, I had to replace uh, uh, some obscure rims, mm -hmm. and uh, they were impossible to find. And he said, no problem. And they went out and found two perfectly matching um, rims off a yard like that. I never, in my wildest imagination, would have thought that that possibility existed with uh, roofing material yards. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you were there when the house was built, um, you know, you might have asked for a few extra tiles. Some home builders would actually leave a few extra tiles in the garage or in the attic. So you would at least have a couple replacements. Uh, but once you've broken more than a few, obviously you're gonna need to find some of those tiles and the better roofers will know where to go to find those tiles and obtain them for you. Okay, so so that is uh, not an uncommon resource for licensed professional roofers who specialize in repairs as opposed to specializing in replacements. Yes. Yeah. People that replace, they're going to tell you, ah, you can't find that anymore. And, but we can give you a bid for a new roof. Okay, good. Now, usually when I ask you questions, Eric, I know the answers already, which is why I'm always confident to ask you the questions. Yeah. But I'm now going to ask you a question that I don't know the answer to. Uh, you know, I, I have used uh, home guard, uh, uh, roofing, uh, on my own roof. It's, uh, about a, 27 year old tile roof now and uh you, you know the people walk on them tiles blow over what have you and they've done an excellent job uh maintaining that roof for me so i don't have to go through the tremendous expense of uh, replacing it uh is that a common practice with home guard roofing where they go to these yards yeah absolutely uh the contractors that we use have been in business almost as long as we have. So, you know, after you've been around for a while, you kind of figure out solutions to problems. And the problem was just as you brought up, uh, these tiles aren't made anymore. Now, what do you do? How do you match the tile? Well, you got to get, you know, creative, uh, use all your resources and find some place that you can find some of those matching tiles for your customer. Good. Um, let's get uh, specific somewhat. Um, are there any particular manufacturers uh, and types of roof that uh, uh, bring up recurring issues and problems that you have observed? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, there was a manufacturer called Semshake uh, back in the 80s, and it was a composite type of a roof that sort of resembles a concrete tile roof. Uh -huh. But it was it was meant to resemble uh, shake. Uh, but the problem with shake is it's wood and it's a fire hazard. So this uh, contractor uh, manufacturer came out with these tiles. Um, long story short, class action lawsuit because the tiles did not last more than 20 years. Uh, they delaminated, they split, they deteriorated. And if you have that sem shake roof, um, sorry, there's... They don't, they don't make replacements. You don't want to put a replacement on that roof. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to want to get a bid to have a new roof installed. Okay. I, I seem to remember issues coming up with CalPAC, those yeah. metal roofs with the uh, uh, top coat on them that resembled mm -hmm. tile roofs. But I haven't seen one of those roofs in a long time. Can you give us a Ooh. newsflash update on CalPAC? Have you seen Absolutely. them? Yeah, uh, you, you still see them from now, now and again. Uh, the CalPAC was a, we'll say, solution, uh, another solution to wood shake. Um, and if people didn't want to replace the shake, they would put the metal roof right over the top of the shake. Um, mm. So it's a thin uh, steel roof with uh, granules on it that sort of looks like it's a tile roof and from a distance, uh, you know, if you don't do this every day, you may think that that's a tile roof, but it's actually metal. Uh, you cannot walk on that roof. Uh, very difficult to replace the roof. Um, and just to let you know, firemen don't like the roof because there could be a fire on the wood shake underneath the tiles where he couldn't see it. 
he's walking around on that roof and he could fall through the roof. So more than likely, they may stay off your roof and watch that house burn if they have those uh, uh, metal tile roofs installed. Okay. Have we exhausted the kinds of roofs uh, that people run into problems uh, with? Is that basically the few examples? Yeah, um, there are newer roofs that we call lightweight concrete tile roofs. Um, you have to be aware of those. Uh, there is really no practical way of walking around on those if you've never walked on a tile roof before. Um, don't go up and try to hang the, the Christmas lights because you're going to crack tiles and you're going to need replacements on that. Um, our roofers know how to walk on those, how to identify them to make sure that we don't do any damage. And then we can use a drone to get up there to do your roof inspection versus walking around on that lightweight concrete tile. Well, I, I am uh, very pleased to hear your information about the roof yard um, because... Yeah. I always thought that uh, if you had uh, a concrete tile roof uh, that uh, needed some maintenance, uh, but had been discontinued, uh, both in the manufacture of the material and the vendor that would sell the material, you were basically out of luck. But it sounds as though uh, a good roofer will help you find those the way they'll help you find rims for a 1957 Ferrari. Yeah, absolutely. There, there are resources out there. Uh, don't give up hope. There's always some way to solve a problem. There's always a, an out of the box solution out there. So keep that in mind. I like that. I like yeah. that. I love that. I just love that. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the most pleasant surprises I've heard. You know, that's, uh, another, uh, quiver, you know, uh, Right. Uh, so, uh, another bullet in my holster for when I run into a problem, because that is a, a, a problem that I've never really felt I had a solution to, but now I feel like I got a solution to it if we need it. Good. Uh, excellent. Very good. So, uh, uh, Eric, thank you for imparting the very helpful, useful information in your new zoom studio. You, uh, thank yeah. you. My, my studio on wheels. You like that, don't you? Yeah, is that a Maserati SUV you're sitting in? Uh, absolutely. It's uh, got the Home Guard logo on the side and it's painted white. <laughs> Special order. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Raphael, I see your uh, cell phone uh, on your bottom uh, left corner there on people ordering roof termite home inspection reports. Uh, if uh, they want to uh, email you. Uh, how do they contact you to order those reports? Absolutely. Uh, you guys re always remember. You guys can go on the website and place an order um, with our with our uh, user friendly app uh, for for uh, placing inspection orders. Or you can text me or call me at that number. Also, you can email me at rbetansis at homeguard.com. That's the letter R. My last name at homeguard.com. Excellent. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for all of that information. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.